Hey there, guys. How's it going? Well, yesterday started on finishing up this old Mercury Sable. And uh, I ran into troubles. Bad troubles. I mean, the old strut I got out, no problem. Well, of course, it's short. I go to put the new ones in, it's too long, and I realize I gotta tear the hub and that out to get to it. Now, a few months ago, I uh, just put new ball joints in this car. Well, I'm now doing ball joints again. See, I shot a bunch of video yesterday on the disassembly of this car. And after getting it home and watching it, I scrapped everything I videotaped yesterday. As I have to admit, I kind of slipped to the past in a bad way. Uh, did not have a good day yesterday. Uh, yesterday was a day that I should have just stayed away from the shop. So almost 14 hours ago, because that's gone past uh, noon now, I come out here and started on this car. Needless to say, the car won. I, it's still in here. It should have been done. But I got the struts in. And then the guy got me the ball joints late, so I didn't finish it last night. I did come out and put one of them in. And this time using my ball joint tool here, which consists of this. And there's the one ball joint. Once I ruined the threads and that ruined it, to come but I've got the tool kit right there use that last night and put the new ball joint in this side here just lickety split so I just decided to kill yesterday's videos and then I'll say this sometimes video repair or video car repairs don't go like they're supposed to but over the years, I've taught myself to control my temper, but yesterday was not a good day. So I just scrapped that video and it's not even going to go up. So sorry about not showing the disassembly and that. I'll show the reassembly best I can. And I guess the car is going to be what it is. I ain't going to have it in line. That's his problem, I guess. Let's see. But I thought in the, I didn't like what I seen in the video of myself yesterday, so I thought, you know what, that ain't even worth keeping. So today, hopefully things go smoother and <laughs> yeah, we get her on, get, I got to, well, actually I think I'm going to move back to the side, finish this side, then I'll tackle I don't know. Actually, I might just go ahead and uh, get the driver's side done. I got all the tools laying over there. Get that done. Get that put away. Put back together. Yeah. Yesterday, just... Yesterday was one of those days I almost wanted to quit working on this stuff again. <laughs> but, today's better. Things are going back together better. Uh, just got to get at her and get her done. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, I guess this is the first time I threw a video away that I didn't think was... If I didn't like watching, I know nobody else would. And that's not what I do these videos. I don't want to... I just gotta learn to keep my temper under control and diabetes was I don't know that might have been part of the issue yesterday I don't know but anyway I'm gonna quit yakking and we'll get to work and I get that uh, set up I'll show you replacing that lower ball joint with the tool now that I think I figured out the cr last time I used it I don't think I had it quite done right and uh, Last night when I put that ball joint in, I mean, I put her in, squeezed in, put the snap ring on, and it fit this time. 
So, and the other thing, holy moly, my door's closed and I'm still getting leaves blowing. This wind is out of the south today. It's got to be at least 35, 40 mile per hour. It is strong. So, all right, let's get to work. Well, that makes it interesting trying to get you guys adjusted now. My stand fell the other day, and now it's a little wobbly. It didn't fall with the camera on it, but it hit the floor itself. So, um, let's see. That greasy stuff. Well, I've got me some of these as well use them. Not bothering changing clothes today because I don't plan on getting that dirty. So. But you work on cars, you get dirty. I don't care what you do. You just pick how much dirt you let get on you. So, with that, I'm going to put some of these gloves on. And yeah, I got to, I see, I got to straighten out that tin, the dust cover. Alrighty. Yeah. First, you gotta get the well. Sometimes easier said than done, I guess. Down there, get the old rubber, get the old destroyed rubber off. And hopefully the snapper comes off. It's loose, so that's good. Snappering. And then, okay, yesterday I used found a easy way. Yep, I think that's. Go on. That small cup. So push in. And of course. Oh, maybe it wasn't that soft. Just a second. shorter. Yep, there we go. Tell you, going a lot easier than the first time I done this. First time I done this, I had nothing but troubles. Okay. Socket didn't wedge on. That's good. That yesterday it worked out. And of course, I don't have a hammer laying here close. Just worked out that I was able to just go. Like 
just like yesterday. She's out. And then, kill. All right. I guess I got you zoomed in, don't I? Oh, really zoomed in. So now, I'm just cleaning up any burrs or anything. And there's just not enough room with that uh, boot on there to get these in. So, oh, nope, I didn't. All right. Now, I've got the new ball joint here. I wish I would have designed that so that it would have worked that way, but and when I put this in, I've seen guys where they've had it threaded through here and here. I don't know what I did yesterday, but I must have fought. Come on. That don't sound good. Earlier today they had a Great, that way we're rolling. Yeah. Okay. And then let's see, is it maybe I can Last night it just went in like it was supposed to. It's gone, I just.
Another successful one. Your snap ring out here. So, did you guys all enjoy your extra hour of sleep last night? I'm still debating on mine. Come on. There we went. Uh, dropped a little wire ring that goes on that, so I gotta get down and find that. So, uh, yep, yeah, all I gotta do is put this sail back on and the wire ring back, the wire retainer on it, and, and then that one will be ready to go on. Well, then I gotta get the pliers out and straighten out that metal. I guess I hit it. So, all right, well, we'll be back. Hmm, I don't know what happened there. Sorry guys. Um, I guess the camera just decided to shut itself off. That's a first. Got it charged. Thought I had record. Maybe I did. Huh. I guess I'll have to watch it later. Anyway, this uh, is fighting me, so I gotta figure out some way of holding the lower A arm down and get the ball joint slid in, so. Alright, I'll be back. I know what happened. I guess I didn't hit record button on that. I'll try and show it on the other side. But I had to get in a genius. I had to go get this big pry bar here to put in the A arm to get it to go down far enough to put the nut on. Okay, got the new ball joint nut there. I should have checked the size out before I've done that. See if it's still the. I hope it's not that one. It's not that one. Hmm. Must be the. What the heck's this? That's 19. No, it's not 19. I don't have a 20. I guess it's a 20, 21 nut now. Okay, work. There it is. I'll find that size. Oops. tighten. Okay. Well, I'll get this tightened up and then I gotta put the sway bar back on and the tie rod and then this side will be done. And I'll show you the other side. I'll make sure I hit record. Sorry guys I got going and I got it together and all I can say is it drives nice but uh, I'd step outside and go up to the car but Look at how much clearance is around the wheel wheels now on the front. Now that I got the new struts in. Before there was not that kind of clearance. So on this car putting new struts on it almost looks like it needs a back driver's side strut but it rides good and the front wheels 
Wish it wasn't so windy because the front wheels are, whoops, sorry about that. Front wheels are straight up and down now. They're not tilted. So I guess it needed it. And I am really glad that I tore the heads apart. Whoa, sorry. Well, not even that. Nope, come on, figure. There we go. Very glad I pulled the heads apart because uh, that motor runs smooth. It runs good. So I guess I am chalking. I am going to go down, get the owner. They're going to give me a ride back. We're going to chalk this one up to being done. Um, the only next issue I know that car's got is brakes. Brakes are, brakes are needing repaired. They probably could make it a few months yet. I don't know if this car is going to be drove like it is because I don't think it's going back to the kids. The guy said he's probably going to keep it for himself now. So, oh, excuse me. But with that, I think I'm going to lock up here, go get her, and get that Ford out of my hair. Yeah! So, and I'm sorry. When I got done, I'm like, oh, I forgot to turn on the camera, but... So, but like I said, I wish I would have kept my cool yesterday and that nah, it just, nah, I, I couldn't use that video, the videos, I just want to delete them when I get home tonight, they're just nothing usable in them, was, my attitude and everything wasn't worth watching, so, alright, well, I guess the next project will be the daughter's car here, hopefully tomorrow or Tuesday. Get that done, get her back in her car. Then, back to trying to figure out how to do some woodworking projects here before the first of the month. And, yeah, and trying to sell stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I gotta get some of this stuff sold because we need the money. So, well, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go get the car delivered. So, I might be back. Alright, bye.